Today we will show you how to paint Blue Slot from Nozer's Marvelous Miniatures. Hey guys! This is Nisa from Denif Imagination. I have a tutorial on basic level for you. It's going to be a blue slot from Nozor's Marvelous Miniatures. It's been painted by one of our painters, Paulina, and narrated by Agnieszka. This is a basic level tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Now Agnieszka will guide you through the painting experience. Enjoy! First you need to prepare the model for painting, and for that you will need a primer paint. Here we used a black one which we use most of the times, but the truth is that the color of the primer depends on the effect that you want to achieve. What does it mean? Well, if you want your colors to be very bright, more suitable for you will be lighter primers like white or grey. There are some disadvantages in it, because thanks to that you won't have deep shadows, but colors will be much more lighter and brighter. But if you prefer deeper colors and darker shadows, black primer is better choice for you. Be sure to cover model evenly with the thinnest layer of primer that you can and also remember to wait some time before you start painting your model with colors. Acrylics are this type of paints that behave the best when the surface is completely dry. So make sure that primer dry out completely before you begin. So for the start we will paint our model with one even color. About the brush for this you can use the one that you feel most comfortable with, but we will recommend bigger and flat brushes like the one that we show here. It's the Den of Imagination flat brush number 12. The link for it will be in the descriptions if you would be interested in purchasing one. For the body, the paint that we use here is a model color Vallejo Blue. Put some of it on your palette. Not too much, because acrylics can get dry quite quickly, which is one of their flaws and advantages at the same time. So again, don't put too much, because it will go to waste. Dip the end of your brush in water and start to cover the surface of your model. Our advice here is try not to use too much paint while painting, because you can cover the details and folds of the model. If you are not sure of yourself, you can make two layers. First one should be lighter and thinner. It will give you a good ground for the second and thicker layer. Now the model is ready. Remember to give it a moment to get completely dry and you can start the second step. And for it we will show you one of the basic techniques which is dry brush. For this you will need flat brush number 6 and Vallejo ultramarine paint. With dry brush technique it's very important to remember one unbreakable rule. Don't use water. The brush must be completely dry. If by an accident you will dip your brush in the water, it's safer to wait for it to get dry or to use another one. Wet brush will spoil the effect and we don't want that. Dip the end of your brush in paint and wipe it out by using paper towel. When the brush will leave like a mist effect on the towel, it's ready to go. The movement of the brush should be always in one direction, mostly from up to down. It allows to create light and shadows on the model. Use this technique on the whole surface. So now we will create more highlights on the skin with dry brush technique again with the same flat brush number 6. Choose brighter color than the previous one. Here we are using deep sky blue and repeat the technique, but this time cover only chosen areas of the model. Mostly those places that the light is falling on directly. Thanks to that we will see more colors on it. Here you can see what we meant. Because we covered only specific parts, we have shadows and lights, and details are much more visible. Next brush is round brush number 2. The color stays the same, it's deep sky blue, but we are changing the technique. Now it's time for glaze. In contrast to dry brush, while glazing it's always easier to work with wet brush, so you can use your brush to mix paint with water. Dip the end of your brush in the paint and wipe out the excess of it. 
but just a little bit, then start to paint highest points of the model, mostly joints and upper parts of muscles. Why we are mixing paint with water? Mixing paint with water makes it more flexible and easier to work with. Dense paint gives you deep color, but it's also harder to achieve smooth transitions. You can't put too much water because color will be too weak and paint will run down the model, so be careful here. It's a tricky part because you have to find the right ratio, but with some practice it will get easier. So why did we use dry brush and glaze technique with the same color? By ending dry brush with glaze, you can make the color stronger and by that more visible from afar, and that's our goal. It also helps to achieve more brightness with next color. It is the same situation as with primers that I told you previously. So now we will finish the skin. We are going back to dry brush again, so take smaller flat brush. Here we will use number 2, and for the paint we will use the brightest color from our palette, Glacier Blue from Game Color. And again, dip your dry brush in paint, wipe it out and start to stroke the surface, but only on the peaks of the model. And the skin is ready. It's colorful and vibrant and we can see the details. So now we will move to other parts. Take round brush number 2 and color burnt red. Mix your paint with water, but just a little bit. and cover inside of the mouth. Now we will make highlights. We shall use smaller brush number one. For color, sunset red. And with it, tongue and the gums, but only the parts at the front. Inside of the mouth should stay in burnt red. It will become our shadow. Time for pikes.
Use the same brush round brush number 1 and color dark sea blue. Paint them with one even layer. Just in case, remember to clean your brush with water every time you are going to change the color of your paint. Actually, it is a good habit to clean your brush as often as you can. Clean brush is a good brush. To highlight packs, we will use even smaller brush, round brush number 0 and dark blue pale as a lighter color. Paint alongside the packs a line or two. It will create an illusion of light reflecting on the surface. Of course, mix your paint with water and of course, clean your brush at the end. Here is the final effect. Now we will paint clothes and teeth. We will use round brush number 1 again and color burnt umber for the first layer. Try to remember to turn the model upside down to check if you painted the model from every angle. If the part that you want to highlight is big enough and there is easy access to it, you can use dry brush. If not, it is safer to paint it by glaze. There is less chance that you will paint over other parts of your model. Clothes are easy to get to and big enough, so we will use dry brush. A flat brush number 2 and pale brown color and the story is repeating itself. Put some paint on your palette, dip the end of your brush, wipe it out and start to throw the clothes. At the same for second level of highlights. The same brush, but lighter color, this time beige. Now is the color that stays the same. Change your brush for small round brush number 0.
paint small dots on the teeth and thin line on the claws. For eyes, use again the smallest brush like number 0 used previously, and bright color. Here is German orange. Cover the eyeballs with it. Afterwards, take golden yellow and paint one dot in front of each of the eye. It will make it feel alive. And at last, the base. This is very easy part. Just take the flat brush number 6 that we used before, choose some earth-like color, we used pale brown, and just cover the base with dry brush. And so your model is ready. I hope you guys like this painting tutorial, I really like the finished results. We are really curious about your results too, so tag us in the of imagination in your social medias and share your results with us and meet me in the comment section. See you guys, bye bye!